Hello guys and welcome to my channel Today I'm gonna introduce you to the new molecular plus uh, add-on I recently upgraded to the version of Blender 3.0.0 Alpha as you see it here and I just wanted to uh, try the new um, Cycle X for faster rendering um, but then I found problem with the old uh, molecular script so I did solve that uh, uh, issue by finding the new molecular plus 1.1.3 as you see it here you can just go to github I'm gonna put the link uh, on the description so you can uh, download it there is many version and uh, if you have Windows so you're gonna choose this one win point zip okay so to install uh, after you download that you're gonna install it from you press edit you go to the preference in the add-on tab, you you go to install and you just find uh, where you did find where you did uh, download your uh, file me I have external add-ons here and you just you don't have to unzip it you just um, click on the molecular press and install add-on so I already did that then you're gonna find it here molecular plus and you activate it you should activate it from here as you see it okay so this add-on is really great I, I have tested this add-on uh, for a uh, few times and it's so uh, easy to work with okay so now let's uh, take this up I'm gonna create a plane So uh, to activate the molecular script, you press N and uh, you find it here. So you press molecular, you go to 3D grid, you press 3D grid and now it uh, automatically uh, fills the cube with halos and you can see this in wireframe view. And uh, make sure that you put here in the uh, particle properties in the emission tab put this to one the end to one so you, so you can see it because normally sometimes it's 200 and then you're gonna see nothing okay so now uh, if you want to see inside the cube the particles inside the cube you can uh, do that by going to the viewport display and you uh, disable the show emitter so now you can see it also uh, we're gonna create the uh, icosphere and uh, we're gonna project the icosphere inside the cube by uh, going select the cube and change in the render tab change the halo to object and then you instantiate the uh, icosphere here and we have it beautiful we we can uh, increase the volume or the scale of it but uh, i don't recommend that because it might mess with the simulation so it's uh, the best practice is to uh, start the simulation first and then after you bake the simulation you can change the shape of the icospheres or whatever uh, object you have here so first thing to, to do before uh, baking the simulation is to press on the plane and then give it a collider from the molecular plus script and now we're gonna change the settings uh, we're gonna inc increase the damping less friction and a, a bit more stickiness and now we select the cube, the cube again and we can start the simulation that's perfect and you see that the simulation speed is uh, 
quite faster than before. Okay. So we have this uh, baked uh, simulation now. It's fine for this uh, short example. And now since we have baked the simulation, we can go ahead and uh, smooth uh, shading the particles by... So if you smooth shade this one, it's gonna do the same here on the cube. Now we can go ahead and uh, increase the scale of the icospheres. You can press 1 on the numpad. And so to have better control on the scaling you, you keep holding shift and then you scale. And as you see it's a lot smoother and you have better control of uh, your object this is fine and if I play the simulation again it doesn't change anything just we have bigger icospheres okay we're gonna go to the shading tab and uh, make sure if you want to add some uh, material to the icospheres here you can just select this one press new let's say for example we have olives we're gonna make some kind of uh, those dark green olives we're gonna reduce the roughness a bit okay we go back to the layout and uh, I never saw olives this rounded before, so you, you can uh, modify the shape from here. Increase it up like this and in the bottom. It's just an example. Okay. And now. perfect so guys that was it that was a short introduction uh, for the new molecular plus uh, add-on which is uh, compatible with the uh, version uh, of blender 3.0.0 i hope the tutorial was uh, helpful thanks guys for watching and see you next time